Hey guys, I got some major life updates for you. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. And things have been really crazy around here and I just wanted to give you guys some life updates for myself as well as my little family. So the very first thing is the day that I'm filming is Juan's last day training to work for Tesla. And uh, when you guys are watching this, it's technically the last day, but he has off. <laughs> and he's actually starting work for Tesla next week. I'm super excited for him and very proud of him. He went through a sped up program where he did like six months worth of training, like in 12 weeks. And worked very hard. He was usually working a full day and then he came home and had hours of homework to do. And he's just like really excelling and I'm really proud of him. So that is kind of a big change for us. Uh, for those of you guys who have been following me for a while, you know that he was in the military. We actually started our channel while he was in the military and when he was coming home from his second deployment. Um, Aubrey was a little bit over a year old. And then last summer he was um, discharged uh, because his contract was up. And that's when we moved in with my parents and you know, we're still here. Since last summer he you know, got a kind of part-time job to work while he was also in school. And then we found this Tesla opportunity and it was just perfect for him. So he is excelling at that. So we are just really excited to see what this next stage in our life brings. So as I just mentioned also, we are still living with my parents, but, but the other night we just signed a contract and we are buying a new home. So we're actually getting a new build and it is projected to be all done about a month after the baby arrives. So there will be a lot of updates coming up soon about that. We're excited to start like picking the cabinets and the floors and the countertops and all of that stuff. And then, you know, designing our backyard and front yard and just all that comes with a new build. <laughs> there is going to be a lot on this channel updating you guys and hopefully some kind of like home improvement DIY type stuff. Um, obviously not all, all at once because that would be expensive and very overwhelming with a newborn, but it will definitely be in upcoming videos, you know, way in the future. The really nice thing about uh, the house that we are picking is it has like a really nice large lot and one of my dreams is to have some type of citrus tree, an apple tree, and an avocado tree. That's my my basic dream and then we can expand from there but I'm thinking like some type of citrus you know obviously it's going to produce a lot of fruit and with that you can make lemonade or orange juice or something like that because you know one little lemon isn't nearly enough <laughs> to make some lemonade. So um you know, there's a purpose for the abundance of fruit that will probably come with that tree. And then apple, obviously, you can make apple juice, but, uh, you know, apple pie, apple sauce, apple bread, you know, you name it. I have an apple bread recipe on this channel, so if you haven't checked that out, it's linked up above. But, you know, or just eat an apple. So even if there's an abundance of apples, there's plenty to do with it. And then avocado, I like guacamole. I like putting avocado like with eggs or like an omelet or whatever. So, um, you know, lots of avocados can make lots of guacamole and I will be very happy. So that's kind of my dream for the backyard, just to give you a glimpse at, you know, what I hope to do with our space. But I'm so excited and I'm excited to bring you guys along with me because it's, I don't know, it's not everyone buys a new build um, just with the market and how everything's going and all of the searching that we've been doing it really is the best option for the money that you'd have to spend just on a new home anyways whether it's a new for us old home or a new build so that's kind of the path that we chose and I feel really at peace about it and I kind of feel like that's God's way of saying you know you're in the right direction but right now I really have nothing to show you other than the little dirt area where our house will eventually be built. Uh, we were able to walk around the area there and there's a nice little park down the street and I'm sure we will have plenty of videos in the future with Aubrey and our little baby playing at this nearby park. 
So more to come on that, but let's move on to the next one. So the next update is about my little baby in my belly. Uh, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday and it was my doctor's appointment following the anatomy scan. And apparently I have a partial placenta previa. So a regular placenta previa is where the placenta is like, you know, if this is like the bottom of your uterus and here's the cervix, the placenta is like down here. And pretty much when you have that, it's almost guaranteed you're gonna have a C-section because otherwise you'd start to dilate, your placenta's there, you can't really push the baby out, you know, you're pushing the placenta and the baby out all at once and there's probably a lot of complications that come with that, at least to my non-medical uh, understanding. And so, because I have a partial placenta previa, the doctor said that as my uterus expands, that placenta might, you know, move up. You know, imagine like blowing up a balloon, putting a little bit of marker um, near like where you're going to start blowing. And that little dot that you drew as you blow up the balloon, it's going to start to move away from that section where you're blowing up the balloon. And hopefully it will move out of the way and I will be able to have a V-back, which is my goal for this pregnancy. But if it doesn't move away, I may have like, I'm just making up this number, like a 70% chance that even if I'd go through labor and fully dilate, like maybe there's a 70% chance I'll still have a C-section. Then part of me is thinking, let's just schedule a C-section so that I just go in, don't go through all the labor, and have my baby and just recover from the surgery. So for those of you guys who do pray, I'd like to ask that you pray that that decision of whether or not to have a scheduled C-section is very clear to both myself and my doctors so that I'm not questioning like going into labor and wondering, can I do this a VBAC or will I have to end up having a C-section anyways? I really hope that, you know, if it's God's plan for me to have another C-section, that it just be obvious from the start and we just schedule it. And if it's in his plan that I successfully have a VBAC, that my placenta, you know, moves up along my uterus and, you know, that be kind of the sign of like, you, you're gonna have a VBAC and it's gonna work out. I shared in some of my little series of why I was terrified to be pregnant again, that I really felt like less of a woman because I couldn't push out Aubrey and I felt like I, you know, maybe gave up too soon and had the C-section too early. Maybe I didn't push long enough, like all these, insecurities from that experience and that trauma from that experience is affecting me greatly for this experience coming up. So I just don't want to have to go through all of that emotional trauma again. And I just really hope that it's clear which route I should go. Scheduled C-section or, you know, successful VBAC. I really don't want to go through labor again just to end up in C-section. So please keep me in prayer regarding that. Like I'm okay if my placenta stays low and they're like, you need a, you're gonna need a C-section because then I don't have to worry about it. It's kind of like, at least I don't have to go through the labor and then end up with a C-section again. So anyways, that is half of the update regarding baby. Um, otherwise the anatomy scan went well, like everything's within normal range. They haven't told me anything else. Um, they did say that my placenta is a posterior placenta, so it's all, it's low, but it's posterior, which is different from what I had with Aubrey. With Aubrey, I had the anterior one, which is towards the front, which means I didn't get to see a lot of movement from her from like my belly. So I'm just really excited to have like a different experience compared to the last time. The last thing regarding this baby is that our gender reveal is coming up. So. Uh, today's video is the Friday video, so on Monday, you guys are going to get to watch me and Juan find out what the gender of our baby is, and then coming up after that, you'll get to see our gender reveal for our family, 
and then a gender reveal party prep. So it's gonna be gender reveal for the next like week and a half, and I really hope you guys enjoy. And the last little update is just something to look ahead uh, for September. Aubrey is turning three, and so I'm gonna have her birthday party party prep. She's loving cars and trucks, and so it's gonna be revolving around like construction trucks, but just kind of cars in general. And hopefully I'll be able to capture, you know, some of her birthday party like in a vlog and share that with you guys as well. So lots of exciting, fun things to come on this channel. And I really hope you guys are excited as I am. Don't forget to hit that like button if you guys want to support me. I know that this wasn't very um, entertaining necessarily, more informational, but uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see our gender reveal and our little birthday party prep and all the home you know, decor and build and all of that stuff that comes with the new house. If you want to see all of that, make sure to follow along because we are going to have a lot of changes coming up in the upcoming months. I hope you have a wonderful day. Know that you are loved and made for greatness and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.